Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and I'm again going to take you through my wardrobe today, but today I have a slightly different purpose. Today I will be doing a declutter, hence the super relaxed vibe. I'm just wearing a simple t-shirt and no makeup because I just want to clear out my wardrobe and film it for you guys, so that's why I'm not really looking all that presentable. I also washed my hair last night, so it's a little frizzy and a little wavy, but hey, I quite like it. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to cull my wardrobe a little bit. I think the last time I did it is when my video went up, which was more than a year ago. And I've since moved and I do have a lot more space in this wardrobe, but especially this section with all the sweaters, which I know I won't be wearing for the next six months, I think definitely need to be uh, looked at pretty closely because I just haven't really had a look at these uh, since last year and I just really know that there's a couple of things here that I have to get rid of either because it no longer looks nice or because I just didn't wear it so I definitely want to take some out so I have some room when the new season rolls around uh, and I can buy a couple of new sweaters because I love a good sweater in the fall and winter time and I bought a ton last year um, but that also meant that some of my older sweaters didn't really get worn, if you know what I mean. So I'm mainly going to focus on this and I will be going through my entire wardrobe and film as much as I can for you, but I will definitely be fast forward forwarding and put some music under certain sections because I don't think it's going to be all that interesting, but I did want to take you through and talk you through actually decluttering this part of my wardrobe. So let's just get started with that. And there's one thing, I'm just going to go pile by pile and then we'll just see how it goes. I already see something that I know I'm going to get rid of. Uh, this is a sweater that I've had for some time. It's a really nice color, but the reason why I'm not wearing it is because the material is just a bit cheap. And after a couple of washes, it just didn't really wash very well. I had to fix this a couple of times because threads were hanging loose. And while I really like the color, I have a very similar colored sweater right here. This is a little bit darker, a bit more green, but I like this one better. It's much better quality. Um, so I know I have to get rid of this one. I'm going to keep my purple sweaters because I love these. I'm also going to get rid of this neon peach sweater. Um, this is, these are my sweaters that I like to wear when the weather gets a little bit nicer, but I also find that the weather then gets so nice that sweaters aren't really in order. This is a very sort of like holy sweater, which also means you have to layer another top underneath it, which adds extra warmth, and when it's a nice day, you don't want to do it. And I don't really feel that this is my color all that much anymore, so I really loved it when I got it. I've had this for a few years and I just haven't been wearing it for the last two seasons. So then we're moving on to this pile of sweaters and I'm going to be keeping both of my navy sweaters because I love those. Now the one that I know I can get rid of is this green one by H&M. Uh, most of my sweaters are H&M because this is just, after a couple of washes it just started pilling. It's quite like itchy so it's not the most comfortable either and while the only reason why I kept this is the color but I just feel that it looks a little, I don't know, it's just not my favorite, so I need to get rid of that. And then I'm going to be keeping all of these because I love all of my orange and mustard sweaters. This is my like red and black stack and I'm definitely be going, going to keep this red sweater right here because that's my newest one. I really like this cable knit one as well, but again, I feel it has lost its shape. And again, it has all of these like huge pilling on it and it's not as soft as it was uh, through washing it. It just kind of became a bit bulbly and not so nice looking anymore. And it's also too long for me. So, and this doesn't tuck very well because of the cable knit at the front. It just kind of bunches up. So it doesn't really look very nice. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I still have another red sweater. And then I'm going to be keeping both of my burgundy sweaters because I love those. And then in my black sweater department, it's quite small because I don't really wear black sweaters. Um, which is exactly why I think I should actually be getting rid of both of these. This is just a like sweatshirt, which I bought to wear with like skirts and all that, but I just don't really like this like cottony material. It's too thin for most of the year, I find. So I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of this anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that. 
And this is actually a very new purchase, and I did wear this around the house, so I can still wear this as like a loungy kind of thing, but this is like five sizes too big. I just really like the style of sweater, which is why I wanted to have it, but I don't think I will be wearing this actually, so I probably need a new <laughs> black sweater. Um, I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile to see what I want to do with it. So here in the back we have some more piles of sweaters. Um, I know there's a lot of sweaters here. So these are like my lighter colors and I have a stray blue one here because it didn't fit on the other pile. Thicker sweaters and these are my lounge sweaters and I definitely want to try and get these out of the wardrobe and actually in my storage where I keep my lounge wear because most of these I only wear around the house. So let's just get started with this pile. Um, this is one of my favorite sweaters actually. This is a really nice navy blue cable knit that I keep on wearing. So I'm going to keep that. And I think I now have space on my pile of navy sweaters. This I definitely don't want to get rid of. Uh, this is a really nice chenille sweater. I'm not going to get rid of the white one or this light gray one because I really like those. Now this one I quite like. It has a high neck. But this has a very strange material. Uh, it's very stretchy, so it has a lot of like elastic in it. And that also makes it sort of cling weirdly to your body sometimes. Um, I think I'm going to hang on to it for now, and then if I don't really wear it much next season, I will get rid of it. This is a really nice thinner sweater. Let me move this. And then here... This is also like a big lumpy thing, but I do really like this. If I want to go for something a bit more like rock and roll, I tend to like wearing this, so keep that. This is one of my favorite all-time sweaters, and I'm very torn whether I should keep this. It's a boucle sweater from Topshop, and I'm just thinking, I've had this for a while. Is it not looking a little old? Is it not getting tired? You know how sometimes clothing after like washing it and wearing it for a couple of years, it just starts to look a bit mad. I think I'll hang on to this for now. One that I'm getting rid of is this one by Monkey. It's like an oversized sweater thing. And I do like this again in the like lounging around the house, but I won't be wearing this out, but I don't need one, two, three, four, five. If I keep the black one, six um, of these like loungy sweaters. So I definitely have to go through that as well. This is a very new addition, and I just have to try and um, <laughs> fold this a bit better. But it's this gi ginormous, uh, fun, colorful, uh, like bright magenta pink sweater from H&M. Uh, it already fell apart on me. I already had to fix it after for one, one time of wearing it. So we'll see how well this lasts. But I just thought that this would be a fun piece to have. So I'm keeping that. Now, this is a sweater that I bought. And I don't think I actually ever wore it. This is difficult. I do really like it. It has like all these pastel colors. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me hold it up a bit closer. You see how it all has all these like pastel colors and then from a distance it looks like a gray. I, I really like that. I have another one like this, but it's more of like a cotton material. And this is more of like a true knit with like a high neck. And I think I actually got rid of some of the high neck ones. So I'll keep that. Now this is one that I sadly have to say goodbye to. <laughs> this is one that when I wear it, it just smells a bit weird. Uh, and it's probably because I wore it so many times that it just doesn't look really great anymore. Um, this is quality wise, however, one of the best sweaters I own. I love the colors. It has like a neon yellow and like teal and navy blue. This is a men's sweater. <laughs> uh, I got this in a men's department at H&M and it fits really, really nicely. It's just that smell. Now, this is a nice black and white sweater that I will be keeping. I'm going to be keeping this one from Urban Outfitters because I like it. But I'm going to get rid of this paisley print sweater. This is another men's sweater that I got from H&M. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a good one. I like it. But again, this had holes in it that I already fixed, uh, especially in the armpit area. And uh, it's a nice one, but not really my cup of tea anymore. The last pile, some of my loungewear sweaters. Now this one is super comfy. I don't want to get rid of this. Um, this is like a boyfriend fit sweater. This one is from Primark. It has Ravenclaw on it. I love my Harry Potter stuff, but I still, I was hoping it would relax a bit in the shoulder area, but it kind of like sticks out and makes you look really boxy. So I'm going to get rid of this. Plus 
I've only been wearing this for like a few months and it has all this pilling, which of course it's Primark, so not a good look. Uh, this one I'm also going to get rid of. I do really like this sweater, don't get me wrong. It's nice and hairy, really nice and soft, but it's just that the more I wash it, the more it shrinks. <laughs> shrinks. The sh sleeves are getting really short and also that like hairy pattern on it, like that texture isn't all that nice anymore and already w did that after like washing it once so it's only looking worse and worse and worse and worse and yes I only wear it around the house but I still want to look semi-presentable. I'm going to be keeping this one. This is a uh, sweater from Pull and Bear that I like and then I have some like Norse sweaters you could call them, Christmas sweaters. Um, this is a cardigan that I do really like actually but I don't really wear this. I haven't worn this in two years, so this needs to go. Then I'm going to be keeping just one Christmas sweater and I'm going to be keeping this one because this is my favorite one. It has the same material as the cardigan I just got rid of. It's really nice and soft, it has Christmas trees on it, oh, and snowflakes, but I think, you know, this is something I could still wear to work if I want to. So Christmas sweater, keep. And this very colorful one, which is again that same knitted material, but this is just a bit too in your face to me now. So ta-da! This is what it looks like now, a little bit better. The stacks aren't as high and I have a little bit of space for a few more sweaters if I'd like. So those are the sweaters and I'm going to take you down to the jeans right now. Okay, so I hope you can see this. This is my jeans and like pants area. Um, jeans wise, I think this is really tough because I love all of my jeans that I have. I have this pair of cheap Monday like legging, tregging kind of things and I love these. These are so comfortable but they are a bit too long and I've decided that I'm a bit over acid wash so uh, these I really really like. They fit very nicely. They're very comfy, high-waisted but I think that these ones have to go. So to dress this. I'm going to fast forward through this. The hair is up. I'm overheating, uh, but that's okay. But I'm going to fast forward through this because I don't think I'll be getting rid of a lot here. I love a good dress and I love where it stands. So I'm a bit nervous about this one. I'm just going to start on that end and work my way over here. <music> So this is as close as I can get you, you know, top uh, cardigans, skirts, and these are all of my tops, so that's what I'm going to go through right now. Again, I'm going to fast forward. So
So we have a massive pile of clothing here. This is everything that I'm getting rid of. I think I did pretty well. I'm pretty satisfied with the amount of clothing I got rid of. There's a couple of things that I now need to find some like new homes for. Um, but I do really think that this was a very successful declutter. Uh, so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because I make new videos every single Thursday and Sunday. I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!